My name is Philly Beats You, and let's not waste any more of your time and get right into this so that you can make yourselves some perfect IV Pokemon. One of the items that you're going to need for breeding or to pump out a lot of eggs fast is the Oval Charm. And you get the Oval Charm by going over into your map to the town called Sir Chester. And once you arrive, head all the way down to the front of the town where you will find both little hotels. Go to the hotel on the left, take the elevator right up, then make a left and then go into the door that you run across first. You'll then encounter an officer named Mr. Morimoto and he'll try to test your skill and give you an item. You'll encounter a battle with him and then once you beat Game Freak's Morimoto, you will then be able to be rewarded with what is known as the Oval Charm. What the Oval Charm does is increases the chances of Pokemon in a daycare producing an egg. So the next item that we need on our list for breeding is the Destiny Knot. Now the Destiny Knot is a very important item that will guarantee that the parents will pass on five IVs to the child. The IVs are chosen individually from either parent. It doesn't matter which parent holds this. The second thing to note is that the IVs chosen are random from each parent. One time you might get four from the father, one from the mother, and another time you might just get three from the mother, two from the father, and so on. The IV not chosen will be generated normally. Thus, it is possible to generate a full IV in this case as well. So fly over to Hammerlock in the center and go to the first Pokemon Center that you see. When you enter that Pokemon Center, you're going to go to the right and you'll see a lady there. You're going to talk to her and she's going to give you the options of the BP shop. And in that, you will see that you will have the power bracer, the power belt, the power lens, the power band, the power anklet, the power weight, and your destiny knot. Other items that may be important to you if you are breeding are the power bracer, the power belt, the power lens, the power band, the power anklet, and the power weight. Now, let me explain power items to you guys. They will guarantee the specific stat IV from the holding parent is passed on. If you decide to use this in conjunction with the destiny knot, the power items affected stat is counted against the five copied by the destiny knot the items include the power bracer which will make sure that the the attack iv is passed down from the parent the power belt which will make sure the defense is passed down from the parent the power lens which which will make sure the special attack is passed down from the parent the power band which allows you to pass down special defense from the parent the power anklet which helps you pass down speed from the parent the power weight item helps you transfer the hp iv stat from that pokemon down Another item that you can use for breeding is the Everstone. You've probably already encountered an Everstone by now because they're all over the floors in this game. They're the little sparkly objects you encounter as you explore the Galar region. The Everstone does is guarantee that the baby will have the exact same nature as the parent that holds it. Now, a lot of these items can be bought with battle points and you can get battle points in the battle tower by battling lots of people. Now, Everstones aren't as important in the game as previous Pokemon games because in Pokemon Sword and Shield, they have now introduced a new item called Mints. And Mints basically can change the nature of your Pokemon and shift those stats completely towards that preferred nature. Now, some of you might be wondering, what are Pokemon natures? Let me tell you about them. A Pokemon's nature basically increases one stat while decreasing another stat. For example, I can have a Pokemon with increased attack and reduced special attack. Or I can have a Pokemon with increased defense and decreased speed. Now, there's a bunch of natures. Totally, there are 25 natures in total. Four natures that don't affect any of the stats are Hardy, Docile, Serious, Bashful, and Quirky. The rest all increase or decrease a stat by about 10% on a Pokemon. Let's say, for example, you had a really strong Pokemon with a strong attack and a really low special attack, and you just felt like saying, I just want to make this Pokemon a much more stronger attacker. So what you're going to do is try to get the adamant nature on that Pokemon, which will then increase its attack further and reduce its special attack even more than it originally was on that Pokemon. And if for some reason you end up getting the incorrect nature in Pokemon Sword and Shield, again, you can just use a mint to change their original nature. Okay, now let's talk Pokemon stats. Pokemon have six stats, HP, 
attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Now, attack and defense counteract each other, while special attack and special defense also counteract each other. Speed determines how fast your Pokemon is going to move in battle, and HP determines how tanky your Pokemon actually is and how much it can withstand on top of it with its defense. So now that we have all our tools, what we're going to need is a ditto to start off with. So you want your ditto to be a high IV ditto, specifically. Make sure to give ditto the destiny knot in order to pass on ditto's IVs to the other Pokemon. And the Pokemon that you're going to breed it with will be the desired Pokemon that you want. Now, if the Pokemon that you desire has the correct nature, you're going to want to give it the Everstone so that it can pass on its nature while getting the IVs at the same time so that your babies for these Pokemon could be the correct nature as well as having good IVs. Now, if it doesn't have the nature you want, then just give that Pokemon to the ditto RNG until you get the nature you want, and then you can stick the Everstone on it afterwards. Now, if for some reason you get a child that has high IVs, but doesn't have the correct nature, no worries. You can just go get the mint from the battle point stadium and change it there for 50 BP. So you'll be leaving your Pokemon in either the Route 5 daycare or in the Wild Area daycare. Now when eggs do show up in that specific daycare center, the lady in front will motion and change her hand so you know that the egg is ready. Now once you collect all your eggs and start hatching them, you want to do it as fast as possible. I've also made a video on how to hatch eggs as fast as possible. You can check that out here. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and let me know down in the comments below what you plan on breeding and uh, uh, what, what other tutorials you want to see in Pokemon Sword and Shield. My name is Philly Beats You, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.